owe the existence of rewritable CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs to phase change materials, whose structures can be switched back and forth between their crystalline and amorphous phases. Phase change materials have even more exciting applications on the horizon, but our limited ability to precisely control their phase changes is a hurdle to the development of new technology. One of the most popular and useful phase change materials is GST, which consists of germanium, antimony, and tellurium. This material is particularly useful because it alternates between its crystalline and amorphous phases more quickly than any other material yet studied. These phase changes result from changes in the bonds between atoms, which also modify the electronic and optical properties of GST, as well as its lattice structure. Specifically, resonant bonds, in which electrons participate in several neighboring bonds, influence the material's electro-optical properties, whereas covalent bonds, in which electrons are shared between only two atoms, influence its lattice structure. Although the application of GST in devices relies on changes in the electronic and optical properties, most techniques used to change the phase simultaneously alter both the electro-optical and structural properties. This is unfortunate, as repeated structural transitions limit the lifetime of any devices based on this material. In this study, the authors investigated how the material and electro-optical properties of GST change over fractions of a trillionth of a second as the phase of the material changes. Laser light was successfully used to alter the bonds controlling the electro-optical properties without meaningfully altering the bonds controlling the lattice. This allows the rapid reversible changes in the electro-optical properties that are important in device applications without reducing the lifetime of the device by changing the lattice structure. Moreover, the change in the electro-optical properties of GST measured in this study is more than 10 times greater than that previously achieved by silicon materials used for the same purpose. This finding suggests that GST may be a substitute for these commonly used silicon materials. This advance may be expected to have far-reaching implications for the development of new technologies, including flexible displays, logic circuits, optical circuits, and universal memory for data storage. These results also indicate the potential of GST for other applications that require materials with large changes in optical properties that can be achieved precisely and rapidly.